If you're using monday.com to help you run your business, you probably have already built out a lot of automations, a lot of dashboards, and maybe a lot of boards. And sometimes you don't always remember where everything is. I want to share with you a board that you can easily build yourself to help you keep track of everything that you need. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified Monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with Monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. If you're looking to understand either dashboards, automations, integrations, boards, or maybe even scenarios that you're using in Make within Zapier, then I recommend having a table of contents board. I hope that you copy this board. It's pretty simple actually, but what it does is allow you to keep track of everything. In this specific use case, we are going to do a deep dive into a client of mine that was a lawyer, and they spent a lot of effort on sales and marketing and operations, and we probably built for them a hundred different dashboards. And they had a hard time finding where every single thing was. So what we did is we built this table of contents board. And this is just a simplified version of it, just so you understand the concept and you can easily build it out yourself. What they did is they first looked at all of the KPIs, all of the data that they wanted to collect, and they divided it into categories. The reason that they had to do that is because you're only allowed 30 widgets per dashboard. So in this example that I'm going to show you, we have marketing, sales, and operations. We have three different dashboards, which I'm going to show you. And here we have the table of contents. What we did is we divided each category is a different group. So here you can see marketing. We simply write the number of the widget that we're going to have. So here you can see number one leads by month. We also use this auto number column because I just think it's easier to automatically number them so you can see the widget number. And it shows us, we have a status column to show us which dashboard it's on. So again, we have the sales dashboard, the marketing dashboard, and the operations dashboard. You can also add a date created and a link to those specific dashboards if you want. So what we're doing here is we're keeping track of all of the widgets on three different dashboards. And I'm going to show you this in a minute. So set up your table of contents board. Again, you can use it for automations, for integrations. You can use it for Zapier and Make. We build Make scenarios all the time. So in the name, like the first column, we'll write what it is. And then we have a link to the Make scenario. Then we have a date created, a date updated, and a description about what that scenario does. Because once you have more than two or three of any of these things, it can get confusing and hard to find the information. So that's why I recommend this table of contents board. So here you can see, like I said, the table of contents board, it has these different groups and the status column and everything's numbered properly. Now let's jump into the dashboard so you can see how easy it is to have this information. So we're just going to look at the marketing dashboard and you can see the top three are leads by month, leads by quarter, and leads per year. Here you can see the marketing dashboard. And like I said, we have number one leads per month, number two leads by quarter, and number three leads by year. Here you can see we have number four. But the point is that we have these three dashboards here, marketing, operations, and sales, and they all have a lot of widgets. If you look down here, you can see just how many widgets they have. So what we've done is we've named them properly here. So it's easy to find what you want because you just look for the number and then you can go back to the table of contents board where you have a full list of all of the widgets that you have on each dashboard. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.